Well, I built this clock as a birthday present. It looks like an empty frame until you turn the power on. And since the time is displayed in binary, it has a really cool nerdy look. Let me show you how that clock was built. At first I went shopping. I bought a tiny frame, a strip of LED, an Arduino Nano, a real-time clock module, two tiny buttons, some black foam rubber, a 220 ohm resistor and some wires. You can find the details in the description below. To test my setup, I used a breadboard. Okay, that looks too confusing. Let's grab some paper. The Arduino is the center. At first, let's connect the clock module. I started by connecting ground to ground. The RTC runs with 5 or 3.3 volts. I connected it to the 3.3 port, so the 5 volt port could be used for the LED later on. The data pins connect to A4 and A5. I wanted the hour, minute and second strips next to each other. Therefore, I cut the LED strip into three parts. One with five LED for the hour and two with six LEDs for minutes and seconds. I glued them at the back cover of the frame. Now I connected each ground and 5 volt output to the LED strips on the Arduino. And pin D7 to the 220 ohm resistor to protect the LEDs. Since the Arduino addresses the LEDs in serial and not individually, I connected the resistor with the top of the LED strip for the hour, then the bottom of the strip with the top of the LED strip for the minute, and so on. Lastly, I wanted to be able to set the time without using a computer. One button to add an hour and another to add a minute. I just connected D10 to the button and then to ground to set the hour and repeated it with D9 for minute. Okay, enough theory. Let's take the frame apart. What do we got here? Back cover, some paper not needed and the paper frame. Ta-da! The LEDs are glued to the back cover with a tiny hole to put the cable through. The rubber foam is used to put some space between the LED and the paper screen and to create that pixel look. I used some razor blades glued to an old drumstick to punch out the pixel. A sharp knife or a CNC laser cutter could also do the job. Most likely better than I did. Lastly, I cut the screen out of the printing paper. For a cooler look, I printed mirror reversed numbers on the back of it, so the numbers appear on the screen when the LED is lit. Now, just put it all together. I used some good old hot glue to fix the back cover in the frame and solder the electrical components on the back as described. For the programming, Mm, I put a link to the code in the comments below. Another weekend well spent. By the way, Sir Spellelot rewards the Ward Digital Uhr with 2470 points. Sir Spellelot is a neat German word puzzling app you can play on your own or challenge your friends with. <laughs>